thank, thank you. I thank my my friend from the the western half of the great state of Missouri, Emmanuel Cleaver, a, a great member of Congress and a friend of mine. Um, and I thank our witnesses uh, for joining us today to uh, discuss supporting our states and territories during the COVID-19 pandemic. I was very proud to vote for the CARES Act and for four total bipartisan packages. And it, the CARES Act provided a $1 trillion in funding to stabilize states and local economies and support it's communities across the nation. Uh, these dollars are critical in supporting health and public safety operations as the pandemic continues to impact our neighborhoods. In fact, in many places, our public safety is at risk without these funds. Funds are needed to prevent uh, law enforcement layoffs, pay public safety officials, and help pay for medical care, housing, and other essential services for American communities and families. I have been actively involved in trying to ensure these funds get to those who need it most in my district. The CARES Act was signed into law on March 27th, and in Missouri's 2nd Congressional District, St. Louis County received $173.5 million in late April. However, four months later, there is still over $100 million unspent federal financial aid that desperately needs to be distributed, including $47 million in a municipal reserve fund for our local municipalities and localities um, that, that should have already been spent in support, again, of public safety officers, medical care, housing, among other critical services. I have spoken to the municipal league multiple times and our municipalities, and they need these funds now. They needed them months ago. I am deeply disappointed that St. Louis County has been unable to distribute these funds in a timely and efficient manner, as we intended, all of us on a bipartisan basis, in the CARES Act. And I have had calls and meetings. Uh, I sent a letter, again, to our county executive and council asking for them to distribute these funds immediately, and I would like this letter entered into the record. My story... Without objection. Thank you. Uh, my story is not the only one. As of June 30th, per CRS, only 25% of the funds provided by the CARES Act have been used by states and local governments. And we need to get to the bottom of why this is. I am sure that the answers vary across states and regions, but having this information and a breakdown of how funds have been spent and where funds are needed is critical to lawmakers as we look forward to future relief. Uh, Dr. Holtz Eakin, in your testimony, you highlight the uh, distinction between the Great Recession and uh, the current COVID-driven recession. Would you describe the role that uh, state and local governments played in each, Dr. Holtz Eakin? Uh, well, certainly uh, in this recession, no one caused it. It was the virus. It was the natural reaction of individuals to pull back from exposure to the virus that drove the downturn. And so states and localities had to respond both to the, the virus itself, and they, they have spent, um, as the governor has said, a lot of money trying to uh, pursue the public health mission as needed and to the and health professionals as needed. States and localities are also dealing with the economic fallout of the pandemic, and that's all concentrated in the UI systems, which have been strained beyond capacity in many cases. And so that's been the part of the role thus far. Um, and I think you know, to understand my testimony, those are legitimate concerns. There's no question. What I'm trying to do is gauge above and beyond that how much additional revenue loss you have to sort of be concerned about, given that there is a municipal liquidity facility and that you know mm -hmm. the tax base is probably going to hold up better than in the past. So that's what's going on right now. In, in tonight, it's very different. It's a completely different episode. This is a, a self-inflicted wound that started in the financial sector, it's built over. Um, uh, the, the didn't have a public health mission they had to deal with. They didn't have to um, have the same concerns about the passive UI that we're seeing right now. By and large, they were able to pay for two full years, by and large. 
how they were able to manage successfully, but with poor growth, eventually it caught up with that. We did see a prolonged slow recovery in the state local sector. Uh, what type of congressional support does the economy need during the ongoing COVID driven recession? Uh, I think the Congress did exactly the right thing in the CARES Act. Going forward, I would think it needs two things. Uh, number one, it needs uh, to support making places and schools safe. That means uh, PPE, testing, workplace modifications, the kinds of things that allow you to proceed in the course of the virus and operate successfully. That would include, in my view, uh, liability protections as well, safe to operate and use a facility. Um, it also will need to keep an eye on those who have prolonged spells of unemployment and income support for that segment of the population. Those are concerns. Well, I, I appreciate that. And I, I don't know if you have any opinion as to why it is that only 25% of these funds, these federal funds that we allocated months and months ago are still not getting to the point. Governor, Governor Walls, I saw your hand, please, sir. Well, good to see you, Congresswoman. And you're exactly right. It's a really good question. One of the reasons we were a little slow here is the legislature couldn't agree. We moved 50% of it to our counties right away. And what I, I want to tell you is, it's the obligation versus the spend. Our budget has, as I said, 92%. I can assure you we only be spent by December 31st. And most of it, in our case, went to local county commissioners and city councils to, to dictate to them. And, and our governor got the money out. I'm upset that the fact that St. Louis County is not getting the money out to my municipalities and my local jurisdictions. That you is my I know I'm over my time. I don't want to... Um, uh, exceed the, uh, uh, the the chair here, so I will yield back. But I I thank you all very much.